Right, today we're going to make some fairy cakes and what you're going to need in your halogen oven that is. And what you need to do is preheat your halogen oven to the temperature that you want your the, the cupcake recipe is. In the book that comes with the halogen oven there is a good recipe for cupcakes and you always cook them on the lower rack and you always need your spacer and then the heat goes down and, and makes them rise. It's fabulous watching them come up and rise and ready to eat. I'm not going to use this recipe today. I'm going to use this recipe from my cupcake book and it's going to be chocolate butterfly cakes. So in a minute we're going to put all of our ingredients in and you need uh, 125 grams of butter, soft butter, 125 grams of caster sugar, 150 grams of self-raising white flour, two large eggs, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, your plain chocolate. So we're going to pop all of those into the bowl in a moment and this is what you use to cook your cakes. So a little six tray, you pop your cupcakes in. You can only cook six at a time, maybe a hiccup, but there is only two of us here so that's probably enough otherwise we'll get too fat. However I'm going to cook all of them so I made a recipe for 12 cupcakes today. So here we go, we're going to pop all the ingredients in and literally just going to chuck them all in. There's three eggs in there, it does say two, I've got three because they are not large, they're medium. I picked up the wrong size in the supermarket so I'm just going to pop everything in together and I'm going to whisk it all up at the same time in a minute. Well I'm not actually, Mr Woolwisk. I am. Because <laughs> he likes doing that job and I don't. So I'm going to give it this, and the reason I do is put a bit of air in, but as I say, this isn't a cookie recipe, it's about how to use a halogen oven to be able to cook some nice cupcakes. And it's two of these. One, two. And you'll see in a minute when we put the melted chocolate in. So it's over to Alan now to do his whiskey. Right, well, here we go. <laughs> and what I've done is, uh, while Alan was doing that, you can see it's whisked up nicely now. I've melted the chocolate. I like milk chocolate. They do say plain in the recipe. We like the milk. Just melted it in the microwave. You can do it the old traditional way where you pop the bowl on the boiling water on the stove. But if you keep your eye on it, it doesn't curdle or go off um, and go all bitty and horrible. But you have to be very careful if you're using the microwave. And what we're going to do now is pour this melted chocolate in. There's a bit of just by chocolate these with cakes. Absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So that's in now. And then Anna's going to whisk that in for me. Cases. Okay, they're all mixed up, ready to go. I've now got to get them in there. You've got to be really careful now. Remember, this is hot. This this now is very, very hot because you've had it on. So please, please be very, very careful. So we take that off. It's a bit of a faff. I know that. But if you're limited for space in your kitchen or you're in a, a bed sit or you just want to be economical, save some money, it works. And it's absolutely perfect. Pop that on there. I've got to cook them at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. So I'm going to keep an eye on them, but we can watch them. You look inside there, you can see them. Yum, yum. <laughs> so hopefully, we will enjoy eating those in the ridge. So here we are, five minutes in, and um, they're coming up already, they're looking uh, rather good, as you can see, rather yummy, and uh, are rising lovely. And this is just five minutes into the cooking of the cakes. Okay, and we're getting very close to being ready now. As you can see, they're looking lovely and brown there now. Um, so they won't be long. We've probably got two minutes left on the timer, so we're nearly there. Right, if you look in there, you can see that they're cooked now because it's not bubbling up any of the fat anywhere. And I prefer this to trying to cook in the oven because I can never quite tell. All right, so I'm going to do the test of the skewer to see if there's any of the cake mix coming off. But it's got one minute to go. I don't want to burn them though. Pop that on there. Pop that in there. No cake mix on it. They're ready. 
I'm going to take them out now. Right, so while I'm waiting for the cakes to cool down, then I'm going to decorate them. Just going to talk you through the halogen oven cookbook. There's loads of recipes. You've got beef casserole, roast beef with roasted veg, homemade burgers, baked cod, salmon, rotelli, olive bread. Very well laid out. It tells you how many, you know, your ingredients, how many people it's for, what you're going to need, the high cooking rack, the baking tray. There's plenty of recipes in there for all sorts of taste buds, vegetarian, baked cod, etc. So it's a good roast beef with roasted vegetables. It's a good cookbook to get and I found it really helpful with me using the halogen oven. Well, here we are. We've just been called, pulled out of the oven. Uh, we broke them in half. You can still see a little bit of steam coming out of them. And look, they look they're lovely and moist and soft. Uh, and you can see they're lovely and chocolatey, which is how I like them. So what are they actually like? Well, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Cook them as cheap as you can in that halogen oven. You can't lose. Fantastic.